Hey Clay, thanks so much for letting me come onto your channel and talk to your viewers about our new RBRT grip wrench. So here's our demonstration. I want you to have a good look at this bolt. That bolt represents about 80 to 85 rounded, you, percent rounded. You can see it's pretty round. There's no shoulders left on it. It's pretty chewed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that bolt and I'm gonna thread it into our demo block. Now I need to tighten this bolt down in the demo block. That's the point. So I'm gonna try to use a snap-on FDX socket. Now you know these sockets are pretty good in the non-slip world. They are a really decent socket. So we're just gonna tighten down on that. And that's where we are. I barely get any torque on it. And that boy's just rounding right over. So we're gonna get that off there. I've got a regular 12 point wrench to show that there's absolutely no engagement on that at all, Clay. And I've got another six point to show that, you know what, no engagement there either. So here's what we've got. We've got our new RBRT grip wrench, right? Non-slip technology. We're gonna put it on that. And I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to just crank this bolt down. Look at how much I got on that. I mean, I'm shaking the whole table. Clay, I am on top of that bolt and it is tight. I can tell you that that is tight enough to where if I was a technician, I'd be saying, yep, that's tight enough. Now have a good look at this technology. I'm gonna go back the other way and you're gonna watch this wrench release just like that. And then it's gonna re-engage and I'll go ahead and I'll loosen that bolt right off. Look at that, there we go. Go back in the tightening position. It'll unengage, boom, re-engage. And now I can crank right back down on top of it. 85% rounded. That's a good wrench, Clay. Let your guys know. Come on over and let's do the open-ended side. So we're gonna use a bolt that's about 40% rounded off. Have a good look at that bolt. All the corners are pretty well shaved off, okay? So we're gonna use our socket extractor to hold on to it. Put that in the block, we'll tap it down on there. All right, now I'm gonna grab that same six point snap on wrench. And just to show you that these corners are truly rounded out, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some torque on it and we'll watch that slip right off of there. So we will now take our RBRT grip wrench, put it on there, and I'm gonna grab this extender here so I can put a little bit more torque on it. Watch this, Clay. This is what we're talking about, buddy. This is grip. Look at me torquing on that bad boy, and it's locked in tight. I'm gonna control this brake and boom. Check it out snapped it right off now that's the snap on slip right there you can see how it rounded it over that's my grip right there just a little bit of a bite down into the corner of that bolt so when we're talking about grip here's a good bolt clay one that's not damaged at all i'm just going to pop it into the bench vise tighten this down i'm going to use the wrench extender to put a little bit more torque on there so I got it good and tight. It's not gonna slip off. I'm gonna use the box stand to show you that, you know what, on a good bolt, unlike our competition's Flank Drive Plus that absolutely tears up good bolts, I'm gonna go ahead and snap this. And I wanna show you, no damage around the head of that bolt. Look at that, nice and clean, buddy. All the torque, that, now that's a grade eight bolt right there. That's a hard bolt. We don't do any damage to the heads on good bolts, but we can definitely bear down and take off compromised bolts. So just like everything else in our RBRT line, Clay, like you know, use it first, prevent the damage from happening. You come across one that's been snotted up, we're your best fighting chance. Hey, Clay Coon, thank you so much for letting me come on and talk to you guys. We'll see you soon, buddy. Take care.